How we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we're going to be talking about all the movies in my collection. 4Ks, Blu-rays, and some DVDs in this collection. So I'm going to split this video up into four parts so that way you guys can actually watch the whole video and not just see this long gigantic video that you guys got to get through. So for this video we're going to be talking about all my movies from letter A all the way to letter F. The first one on this list is the 007 Daniel Craig Collection. I'm super excited to watch these upcoming in the James Bond reviews that are coming out probably in March because the new James Bond movie comes out in April so I'm very excited to watch these. 12 Angry Men fantastic film this is probably one of the best films of all time you got to check this one out if you haven't seen it now i did pick up 21 jump street and 22 jump street these are sony's new 4ks and i've heard that they're excellent transfers if you have not seen these movies these are excellent and hilarious comedy films that i think really show that we can still make pure hilarious comedy films Next I have 28 Days Later, crazy epic zombie film. Then I have the sequel, 28 Weeks Later. I have another Criterion called 39 Steps, which my girlfriend gave me as a birthday present. It's by Alfred Hitchcock. It's one of his earlier British films that is very excellent. It's a very simple and just great mystery film that is so effective. So you guys got to check this old classic film out. Next up, we have a new film, 1917 on 4K. This was a great film from last year that was more about the special and visual effects more than the actual story. So that was a little disappointing, but this is a really fun film that looks excellent. So I can't wait to watch this on 4K. Next up is what I believe to be the most best movie of all time. 2001 a space odyssey this 4k is gorgeous this might be one of the best looking 4ks ever probably because it's one of the best looking movies ever you gotta pick this one up and at any rate this movie's going for then i have disney's aladdin what a classic disney re renaissance film this has to be in everyone's collection i would love to get a 4k at a good price to upgrade but aladdin is great. I got the recently new great Alfred Hitchcock collection that has The Birds, Psycho, Rear Window, and what's the other one? Vertigo. These are fantastic. I am waiting to watch these on the 4K. These are old classic films. Some of them are some of the greatest of all time. So seeing them on the 4K format with tons of special features and just seeing all the amazing work that Universal did on this, I cannot wait to check out. We have Alien on 4K. What a magnificent film. Gotta pick this one up. Aliens, I really hope they make a 4K of this. I know that Disney owns 20th Century Fox, which is now 20th Century Studios, so I don't know if there'll be a 4K, but Aliens needs a 4K. American Beauty. This is a fantastic film. I can't wait to see if they do a nice 4K transfer on this, but... This movie hasn't really aged all that great because of Kevin Spacey, but it's still a phenomenal film. We got American Gangster with Denzel Washington. American History X with Edward Norton. This is an interesting one, so you should check it out. David O. Russell film, American Hustle. This is a pretty good film. A fantastic horror mystery crime film, American Psycho. Love this one. American Sniper. I have not seen this movie, but I already know everything about it. But I hope to check this out because Bradley Cooper is a fan favorite of mine. Bradley Cooper, Bradley, you get the point. Anatomy of a Murder. This is a Criterion pickup with my boy, Jimmy Stewart. This is a fantastic court drama mystery film that is so excellent and is so well done and just so amazingly presented. This movie is around 2 hours and 45 minutes, but you just don't even realize it. Anchorman 2. 
Annabelle Creation, a very underrated, solid, fun horror movie. Apocalypse Now. Now, this has the Blu-ray, 4K, has different versions of it, has the final cut, then it has the Blu-ray final cut, and has so many different options, and you gotta watch the final cut. This movie is phenomenal. Apollo 13. Aquaman on 4K. I can't wait to see how good this movie looks on 4K. Argo, best picture winner. Denis Villeneuve film, Arrival. James Cameron's Avatar that I will probably be buying day one for 4K. Super excited for Avatar 2. The Avengers on 4K. Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Endgame. And Avengers Infinity War. Had to get all the Avengers films. Because it's the Avengers. You gotta do it. Baby Driver. Fantastic movie. Barry Lyndon. This is a Stanley Kubrick Criterion film that I have been waiting to see. And I can't wait to watch this long fantastic film and maybe give a review on it if anyone's interested the original batman on 4k batman the complete animated series i will be doing a review with this when i finish it i'm trying to actively watch it and to give a review on this awesome show that i never really grew up with but trying to get a piece of the animated world that i've been missing best picture winner a beautiful mind directed by ron howard Beetlejuice, what a fantastic 4K. One of the best transfers out there. Ben Hur and the Ten Commandments. Some epic, long, crazy Christian biblical movies that just, I don't know how these could ever be made today. Just by how amazing they are. Big. The Big Lebowski. And Birdemic. Just because this movie's so bad, and I love it for everything that it is. Birdman. Birds of Prey. 1974's Black Christmas. Black Panther. Black Swan. Very underrated and great horror film. Black Klansman. Blade Runner 2049, my best film of 2018. Blade Runner, the final cut. You gotta get both Blade Runners. They both look amazing on 4K. This is just automatic pickup. The Blair Witch Project. Blues Brothers on 4K. I have not seen this film. This is one I'm very excited to see. Classic comedy film. I gotta check it out. This is a two-pack of A Boy Named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home. I'm a big Peanuts fan, and I just wanted this like a long time ago, and these movies still hold up. They're super cute and enjoyable. These are great. Boys in the Hood 4K Steelbook. Braveheart on 4K. Still gonna watch this amazing Best Picture winner. The Breakfast Club. The Bridge on the River Kauai. Still haven't seen this, but heard it's a classic, great war film. And Bumblebee. Cabin in the Woods. The original Candyman. Captain America, Civil War. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Captain Phillips. Carrie. One of the greatest films of all time, Casablanca. Really hope they ever make a 4K for this film. Just pure, magnificent filmmaking. Scorsese's Casino. Castaway. Steven Spielberg, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, Catch Me If You Can. The original Child's Play film. A Christmas Story, classic Christmas film. 
I know it's overplayed everywhere, but it's actually interesting to see that the quality of this looks so much better than TV. Chronicle. Haven't seen this movie. Heard it's good. Considered one of the greatest of all time, Citizen Kane. We're going to be watching that and reviewing that for tomorrow because of the new David Fincher film, Mank. So be on the lookout for a review of Citizen Kane. Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Masterpiece. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Collateral. Yeah, baby. And one of the best films of the 1980s, Criterion, Come and See. Powerful movie. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2. Very excited for The Conjuring 3 to come out next year. Can't wait to check it out. The Cornetto Trilogy of Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End. This is like a perfect trilogy. Edgar Wright is fantastic. I'm going to be reviewing these for Edgar Wright's new movie coming out next year. Very excited. Kevin Costner's Dances with Wolves. The Dark Knight Trilogy on 4K. I've heard this is one of amazing 4K transfers. I had the first two on Blu-ray, but I love Christopher Nolan. I love Batman. This is an automatic pickup. Deadpool. Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. The Descent. One of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, Die Hard. It is a Christmas movie. You gotta get the 4K. The upgrade is so fantastic over the Blu-ray. Love this movie. Dirty Dancing. Pick 4K pickup of District 9. Love this movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. Hope the 4K transfer is excellent. Django Unchained, Quentin Tarantino. An amazing Criterion package and film. Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, one of the best films of the 1980s. It's in my personal top 10. You gotta watch it. Doctor Strange. Don't Breathe. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The classic Blu-ray short film. I absolutely adore this. I think it's better than the Jim Carrey version. It's so true to the original story. I think it's fantastic. Drag Me to Hell. Brian De Palma's Criterion, Dress to Kill. Very great slasher film that you guys got to check out. Really fun film. Ryan Gosling's Drive. The classic Dumbo. Who doesn't love Dumbo? <laughs> Dunkirk. I cannot wait to watch this film on 4K. Definitely one of the best looking Christopher Nolan films ever. This is a phenomenal film. And one of my favorite movies of all time, E.T. And this 4K is excellent. It's super cool. It moves. I love E.T. So this was perfect for me. Edge of Tomorrow, haven't seen it, hurts really, really good film. I gotta check it out. Edward Scissorhands. The Evil Dead 1 and 2 4K collection. Gotta love these. Ex Machina. The Exorcist. Face Off. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Fargo. Now here come some guilty pleasures. Fast and Furious 6. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Fast 5. The Fate of the Furious. I do love me some Fast and Furious movies. The Favorite. And A Few Good Men. Fight Club. I absolutely love this movie. I hope they make a 4K because of the 20th Century Studios and Fox like acquisition from Disney. This is amazing. Finding Dory. Finding Nemo Steelbook on 4K. First Blood, the first Rambo movie. David Cronenberg's The Fly. Alfred Hitchcock's Foreign Correspondent, new criterion picked up this year. Haven't seen it, but I love Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock's work that I have seen. Want to start watching more of his content. His films. You get the point. Forrest Gump. 
Frankenweenie. Frozen. The Fugitive. Full Metal Jacket. This is a fantastic Stanley Kubrick film. Finally got the 4K of it for a really good deal. Maybe I should just do a Stanley Kubrick collection because I absolutely love the films I've seen from him. This is one of that's fantastic and I need to go back and rewatch it. Now the last one of this video, Furious 7. Now I do these in alphabetical order so the way it goes is Furious 7. Not There's no fate in it or no fast like in the other ones but... There we go. That was the end of my A to F video of collection. So be on the lookout for the next couple ones of G to L that I will be doing in the next video. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me that you guys are liking the videos. It means subscribe to the channel. You guys are the best. As always, I will see you all in the next video.